Hi, and welcome to this section of the elementary and middle school tutor, where we're going to learn about subtracting one and two digit numbers. Now, it's very similar to addition. The only thing that you need to really think about is that subtraction is the opposite of addition, but you'll see that as we start to work from the right-hand column onto the left, it's very, very similar. We just need to go and learn about a little bit about subtraction, and uh, we'll learn about the differences along the way, and we'll work some problems. So let's go ahead and learn how to subtract one and two digit numbers. What if you had five minus two? Now this is what we call subtraction. So instead of adding these two together, we're going to take the difference, okay? Now what that means though, is that if you had five balls to begin with, two, three, four, five, okay? And I'm gonna subtract two balls from it, okay? Okay, here's the two balls here. What I'm really doing here is I'm basically sub going to subtract two balls from the five, so I'm going to take one ball away, two balls away. I'm going to take them away. They're gone. I've given them off to my grandmother, okay? I don't have them anymore. I had five to begin with. I took two away. How many do I have left? That is what subtraction is, okay? Now, you can see that in this case, you have three balls left. So the way you would write this is a five on the top, a two on the bottom with a subtraction sign, okay? And then you would, um, you would write down the answer just below here, and that would be a 3. Now, you can write your balls down, and you could scratch off numbers, and then you would be able to, to find the answer. But just like in addition, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be hard to do, because if you have like 34 balls, I mean, you'd have to write all these on the board. So you can, um, you can learn and, and, and do what I'm going to teach you here, and that's going to be for small numbers here. You could just start with 5, like in this case. Take two away, one, two, and how many do you have left? Well, you have three. So then we knew we could put the three down here. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to work some problems with subtraction of one and two digit numbers. Now let's say you have seven minus five. Now I could put seven balls down, okay, and uh, we, could, we could take five balls away, but what we're going to do is we're going to write them on top like this, okay, Okay, so you start with 7, and then you want to subtract 5 from it. So you just go backwards, okay? You start with 7, we're going to take 5 away. So starting at 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. We took 5 away, we got 2 is the answer. So 2 is going to be here, and that's exactly the answer, okay? Now, notice that you can go ahead and draw your balls. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay? And... Um, we start with seven, and you can take five of those balls away. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we took five away. We have two left. Okay, that's fine. That's exactly right. But you'll find that as the numbers get bigger and bigger, it's going to be hard to write all these on the board, and so I'm trying to teach you how to, how to use your fingers there and help you out. Okay, now, you can kind of think of subtraction as the opposite of addition, and that is, in fact, exactly what it is. Okay, what if you had 10 minus 7? 10 minus 7, okay? Well, first thing we want to do is we want to write the numbers on top of each other, just like before. We're going to put a subtraction sign, okay? Now let's go ahead and, and use our fingers here. Starting at 10, we're going to take 7 away. Starting at 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. So we took 7 away and we're going to have three in the end, okay? So the, 